So one of the most popular videos on my channel is my look at premium bonds, how they work and how they compare to savings accounts. Well, I've actually had my money in premium bonds for a year now. So I thought it was a good opportunity to give you an update and show exactly how much money I've made in comparison to if I'd put them in a best easy access savings account available at that same time. So I put 10 grand into premium bonds on the 31st of January, 2021. So that's 12 months they've now been in that account, one year exactly. If I had put the money into the best easy access account right now, let's say I opened up an account right then on that date, the rate I was got, would have got was 0.55%, which is pretty poor. It did get better throughout the year. So maybe I could have moved the money up a little bit, but who knows? But that means I would have got 55 pounds in interest. I would have got it, that would have been fixed, that would have been an absolute certainty I'd have got that money. Because obviously with premium bonds, there's never any guarantee you're gonna win anything. But a 0.55% for 10 grand, well, that would say I would only need to win twice, two 25 pound prizes, because remember the minimum prize for premium bonds is 25 quid, and I'd have been roughly on a par. Now, before we get into exactly what my results were and when I got the prizes, uh, very quickly, just a really important point to, to sort of say why 31st of January was an important date for me to put the money in. Why I didn't do it on the 1st of February, for example, right? Because that would make more sense, wouldn't it? In lots of ways, you start the month or even in the middle of the month or whenever it was. Now, I deliberately waited to the end of the month because with premium bonds, and I do go into detail on this in my full video, so make sure you check that out after this if you haven't already seen it. Um, the money has to be invested for a full month, a full calendar month before it can be entered into a prize draw. So if you put the money in on the 1st of February, you wouldn't actually be able to get into a draw until April because the first full month would have been March, not February, because you've already in the middle of the start of a month, okay? So 31st of January meant the money sat there for February and went into the draw at the beginning of March. So that was the first one I was eligible for. So it's just an important thing to, to caveat there, which is why we're taking it from now. Now, technically, I've only had 11 prize draws so far. There will be the one in February, which will be my 12th try, uh, chance to win some money. Uh, and that might, obviously, you could sort of say, well, give or take a day or two, you could include that in those figures. And maybe, you know, it might increase what I've got. Hey, maybe I'd win a million. Spoiler, I don't win a million pounds, right? <laughs> but um, I'm not, for being really strict here, how much money I've had in the account for 365 days so we can compare it to that best easy access account. So remember, 0.55%, if I put it 10 grand in that account, I would have won 50, I would have got 55 pounds in interest. So how did I do? Well, it's been really easy to check the prize winnings as the year's gone on. The NSNI app is fantastic. Face ID, thumbprint if your phone's different. Open it up really quickly. When there's been a draw, normally the first, second or third of the month, it will tell you straight away whether you've won or not and how much you've won. So really quickly, really easy to keep track of this stuff. Although it only shows you the last six prize draws, whether you've won or haven't. So you do have to go onto the NSNI website to see your full prize history. So the first draw was in March, 2021, and I won nothing. No prizes at all, okay? Bit disappointing, but you know we're not gonna get every single month. Minimum prize, 25 quid, it's not possible. Second month was April 2021, and I won. I got 25 quid. So we're well on the way, already 50% of the way there after just two months to equaling what I would have got from the best easy access account at that time. Okay, fantastic. And then what happened the next month in May? I won another 25 quid. So already 50 quid within having the money in there. So February, March, and April. Three months and a couple of days, I'd already pretty much matched what I would have got from uh, the Best Easy Access account, right? This would suggest Premium Bonds was a winner, excuse the pun, right? June, no win. July, no win again. So that start was maybe a little bit lucky, bit disappointing not to get prizes the next two months. Then it came to August, and August, I got two prizes, two lots of 25 quid. So it wasn't a larger prize, but two of my bonds won. So straight away, by August, so that's what? February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Seven months, well actually, no, six months actually, because the draw is the start of August. In six months, I'd already got 100 pounds. I'd already got a 1% return after six months. So another six months to go. Potential to win big prizes. Remember, there's up to a million pounds you could get. How did things go? Well. In September, my prize draw, I did win. But, and this is interesting, I put more money in in the summer. I put another bunch of cash in, and it was one of those that won me a prize. Again, just 25 quid, again, not one of the big prizes, 
but not part of that initial stash. So we're not going to count that towards what my return was over a year. In October, no win. Disappointed again. In November, another win, right? £25. Again, that was for the second batch that I got. So we're still at £100 for that initial 10 grand investment. Take us into December, penultimate draw of my year, the last one obviously of 2021, and I got another £25 prize and <laughs> another £25 prize. That was sadly uh, from the uh, new bunch. Say sadly, I still got some money on that next stash of uh, investments I made, but no more on that initial 10 grand, which took us around to January, the last draw that count counts in. They only get 11 draws in that 12 month period, um, but the last one that counts towards this year, uh, January 2022. I didn't win any prizes at all. So my turnout for the premium bonds, that 10 grand that I invested one year ago, I made 100 pounds, which I'm really happy with, although I'd made all that money within six months. So slightly disappointed that I didn't get any more in the next six months. And I'm slightly disappointed that I didn't win any of the big prizes, but I didn't expect to win the big prizes. You know, they generally, there aren't many of them. There's only two one million pound prizes, for example, and there are millions of people who have premium bonds. So I didn't expect to get that. I had kind of hoped maybe on that initial run that I would carry on winning with those, but I didn't. So uh, it, hopefully that's interesting to you guys, give you an idea of how it worked for me. If you're on the fence, not sure whether you're gonna give it a go, there's no indication that you will get the same return as me. You might get worse, you might get better, but it is a good indicator of how it worked compared to the other easy access accounts. Now, obviously that 0.55% that we had a year ago, well actually right now, time of filming this, the best easy access account is 0.71%. So you would be wanting to get three wins in order for you to kind of beat what you had uh, from what you could have got elsewhere. So that's still, I think, average rates of luck. You're gonna do that hopefully, but there's no guarantee. Now, if we're gonna compare this to where the best easy access account is right now, let's say for the next 12 months, well, currently it's around 0.71%. So yes, I would have beaten that again. If I get the same luck next year, for the next 12 months for that same amount of money that's saved in there, then I'm still gonna beat it. But it does make it a little bit more margin, slightly slimmer, slightly sort of harder to go to look at. And if we do see easy access accounts improve, if we see them getting better, then there's a good indication that you might want to sort of rethink whether your money stays in premium bonds in 2022. However, as ever, when I do my monthly savings updates, I will give you the heads up on what's going on, what the best rates are. So make sure if you haven't already, you hit subscribe, hit that notification button, and you will get the latest videos every time they are released. My name's Andy Webb. Thank you so much for watching. Here are some more savings videos you might find interesting.